In this problem, we're told a 0.6 kilogram particle has a speed of 2 meters per second at point A and a kinetic energy of 7.5 joules at point B. What is A, the kinetic energy at point A, B, its speed at point B, and C, the total work done on the particle as it moves from A to B? So I went ahead and drew what's going on. So at point A, we know its velocity is 2 meters per second, and it's going to have a mass of 0.6, right? And so the mass is going to be constant, so the mass here is the same as the mass here. And then we also know at point B, its kinetic energy is going to be equal to 7.5 joules. And uh, we don't know its velocity, though. So let's go ahead and, and start with A. So for A, what we're trying to do is find the kinetic energy at point A. So we're trying to find the kinetic energy here. And we know the formula for kinetic energy, Ke, is just 1 half m times v squared. right? So if we want to find the kinetic energy, all we have to do is plug in the mass, right, which is 0.6, plug in the velocity, which is 2, and then we'll be able to solve for the kinetic energy. Right, so just do one half, multiply it by the mass, which is 0 0.6 times two squared. Right, so plug this in your calculator, 0 0.5 times 0 0.6 times two squared, which is just four. And when you do this, you're gonna get it equals 1.2. Right, and we measure this in joules. So 1.2 joules, that's gonna be the kinetic energy, right, at point A. So this right here is your answer to A. Uh, let's go ahead and do B now. So B wants us to find uh, the uh, speed at point B. So we're trying to find the velocity at point B, right? So if we want to do that, um, think about what we're given. We're given the kinetic energy at this point, right? So we know kinetic energy, right? One half mv squared. And if we know the kinetic energy, right? And we know the mass, the mass is staying the same as it goes from here to here. It doesn't change, meaning v is the only variable left in the equation and we can just solve for it. So plugging it in, 7.5 equals one half m, which is 0.6 times v squared, right? So when you do this, you're going to get 15 equals, right, just multiplying both sides by 2, equals 0.6 times v squared, divided by 0.6, right, and then just square root both sides. So essentially, it's just the square root of 15 divided by 0.6. And if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get it equals 5. So v is going to be equal to 5, and then it's in meters per second, right? So 5 meters per second, that's going to be the velocity uh, at point b. So here, and then let's do C now. So C is asking us for uh, the total work done on the particle as it moves from point A to B. So in order to solve this, there's something you should know, which is that work is equal to the change in the kinetic energy, right? So if we can find the change in kinetic energy, that's just going to be the work, right? And if we know the kinetic energy at one point and the kinetic energy at the, some point, at the other point, we just have to subtract, right? So it goes from 1.2 to 7.5, right? So if we want to find the difference of the change, we just take the kinetic energy at point B and minus the kinetic energy at point A right? Because that's going to be the change in it. So it's just going to be 7.5 minus 1.2. And if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 6.3, right? And so measure work in kinetic energy in joules. So 6.3 joules, that's going to be the work, right? So work equals 6.3 joules, which is also the change in kinetic energy. But yeah, so the total work done, 6.3 joules. This is your answer to C. Um, five meters per second was your answer to B, right? And then 1.2 joules was your answer to A. So yeah, these are your answers and hopefully you found this useful.